Good afternoon. Um, we're excited about going in Heinz Field for the first time. Uh, three weeks into the preseason, it's, it's pretty interesting in the process that this will be our first time. Uh, so on that level, we're excited. It's also uh, the third week, and it mocks a regular season uh, process from a preparation standpoint in a lot of ways. Um, we're back here in the comforts of, of our facility. Um, our daily schedule mimics what it's like in terms of how we uh, go through uh, our work week, today being a simulated Friday uh, day in a lot of ways. Uh, we did some more extensive game planning and utilization of people relative to their skill sets. We're still very much in the evaluation process of all, of, all the guys as we push forward toward uh, our 53-man roster. But there will be selected things in terms of asking people things to do relative to their skill sets in a game plan like way. Um, excited about the Titans. They present a, a good challenge for us. Uh, the mobility at the quarterback position being a specific challenge uh, that our defense needs um, in preparation for the season. We've got a lot of respect for Mariota and, and not only his uh, passing abilities, but his mobility and how that affects your play, not only schematically, but, but technically. Um, he's going to challenge us in a lot of ways that way. Um, on the other side of the ball, um, Dean Pease being their coordinator, uh, we've seen him a lot over the years, and he's very familiar with us. And I think that familiarity and, and how multiple his schemes are are very challenging on the, on the other side of the ball. Um, they, got some, um, they got some dynamic specialists and special teams. Um, their punter, uh, we spent a week with over there in Orlando at the Pro Bowl. He's a quality, talented guy. And Dory Jackson, they drafted last year in round one, uh, had a very good uh, rookie year in, in return capacity. They've got some young guys that are competing in that area um, thus far this year. Uh, vying for Ross to spots. I think they got the longest kickoff return in the NFL uh, this preseason. Uh, so we got very good challenges, but uh, as always, the focus is us and our preparation. Um, I like the process that the group went through this week. Um, our mindset is that those that are healthy are going to play. Um, and we're going to leave the light on for those that are partial participants. There have been some partial participants uh, this weekend. Uh, because we don't have to declare availability, we will leave the light on for them in terms of participation, those guys being uh, Antonio Brown, Morgan Burnett, uh, Dan McCullers, uh, TJ Watt, all have worked in a limited light capacity this week. We'll continue to push forward toward the game and determine their availability at the 11th hour. Um, some guys that have been out an extended period of time who are who you could classify as out are Ramon Foster and uh, Grimble and uh, Hilton and McDonald uh, as examples of guys that, that hadn't been working and been dealing in more in a week-to-week -week like capacity as opposed to a day-to-day -day or a limited participation like capacity. So um, we're excited about this opportunity. We realize the sand is running through the hourglass in terms of this process. And so um, there's some urgency there. Uh, we also realize that um, there's some complexity to, to this third game from a schematic standpoint, from a role standpoint, from a competition standpoint. And it's just going to get increasingly more clear as guys continue to roll the ball out and, and, and compete. So uh, we're excited about that as well. Uh, I'll be happy to address any questions you might have. Excellent. What, what, what improvement do you want to see from last week defensively? You know, I hadn't really even thought about that. Um, last week is last week, less game planning and so forth. I'm just more interested in how they're performing this week relative to this week. Um, you got to be careful comparing performances in the, this time of year because your agenda is, is somewhat different from time to time. What did you get out of the uh, conference call in the last <clears throat> night? Um, I didn't participate in the conference call. Um, I had duties here. Um, from what I understand, it was very productive. Is there an idea of the whole half, or is that kind of up in the air with home that everybody else wants to play? You know, we got a plan, but we're also light enough on our feet. There's certain things that we want to see, and that plan is subject to change. So I'm not going to back myself in the corner. You guys have seen how we've operated in the past. Um, we're going to give those guys an opportunity to show that they're, they're game ready. Mike, do you plan to use um, Landry this game? <laughs> yes. Are you willing or able to say why Antonio was limited this week? Um, I'm able to. I won't get into the details because it's not that time of year. Uh, we're just managing him and from a rep standpoint and his participation, and we'll decide as we get closer to game time whether or not he's playing in the game. 
playing all four quarterbacks playing? The That's not the plan. Um, we're going to play Ben. We're going to play Landry. and We'll see how it goes from there. Um, we'll harden it up as we get closer. Uh, but those two specifically are scheduled to play just like the other two were specifically scheduled to play last week. What is Vance McDonald dealing with the last couple of weeks? You know, it's just been an injury. He's working his way through it. Um, he's getting closer to parcel participation. And once we get him back out there and working in that capacity, I'll be better to better equipped to explain where he is in terms of his return. When you say that it's not necessarily about time, but certain things you want to see your first team accomplish on Saturday, are any of those things that you can share with us? You know, we just got to play varsity ball. And uh, you know what that is. On offense, that's taking care of the football, dominating situational football, red zone, third downs, uh, short yardage, um, and, and playing with a tempo, a tempo that we select. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, it's being styled against the run, minimizing big plays and winning possession downs. And um, those things are relatively constant. That's why I don't routinely um, bring them up in this setting. Do you have any better feel for whether uh, Ramon will be ready in September than you did initially? I, I don't, but I haven't asked, to be honest with you. Um, I'll start looking at some of those things in terms of availability next week. I've really just been in a tunnel this week on this mock preparation game week, if you will, and focused on those guys that are participating or partially participation, participating. And I hadn't done a lot of question asking regarding his status or the status of guys like McDonald and others that you mentioned. How did Antonio respond to the work he did get this week? It's a good work week. Um, I visit with him just about daily. Uh, he wants to do more and things of that nature. We're just being smart about how we're going about, about the process of preparing him for the season. How do you assess more difficult? Uh, it's more difficult to run a game week with 90 players here compared to a normal I don't really think about what is normalcy. Um, this is just the third week in the process of team development for us in the preseason. So I don't look to compare it to what it's like. Um, I've just been focused on this group and their readiness and the opportunity and the challenges that's in front of them. Uh, it's a bunch of guys in there, 90, trying to become 53. Um, I'd be doing them a disservice if I was – focused in any other way other than providing an environment where their preparation is, 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 is good. How do you assess uh, Jalen Samuels' practice and play so far? You know, I think he's increasingly getting more consistent in terms of what we expect from him. He's got a skill set that's good in some areas that's very varsity and consistently varsity. Uh, some areas in his game he's got to continue to grow. Um, he's finding more consistency in those areas that he needs to grow as, as he should. Um, um, and we'll just continue to take him through the process as we will all the others. Um, I like his overall attitude in terms of the challenges that we're presenting to him and in terms of the areas of his game that he needs to work. Uh, he caught a lot of balls, and he was a third down back like guy at NC State, so we'll challenge him in some other ways that might be somewhat new to him. What are those ways? Just regular running back type things. I'm not, you know. It's not anything earth shattering, to be honest with you. Uh, he caught a lot of balls. He didn't run a lot of balls. So some of the running back things, some of the non-receiving things. Have you seen growth particularly mentally from Matthew Thomas since he's gotten here at rookie camp and everything come out? Yeah, but that's, you know, they all have. You know, if they didn't, they, we wouldn't be talking about them because we would have fired them by now. You know, this process is about growth and learning, um, and he's doing it appropriately so. For at least six, seven years since the CBAs have changed, it takes a while in the NFL for tackling to be good. How can you discern if this is just the natural progression, that teams always struggle with tackling early, or if tackling is a significant issue for you? You know, time will tell, uh, not only for us, but for everyone. So we'll see. We'll keep working. Anyone else? Did you uh, request the, the tarp over the back end zone there? <laughs> I'll leave that somewhat mystical, man. I'll let you guys, you know, you know, hypothesize about the origins of that and, and its use, and at some point we'll address it directly. It'll be, it'll be the 2018 little side story. Mystical or otherwise, did you have any reason to think you'd been looked at? You know how it is, man. This is um, interesting times, drones and so forth, you know. Um, we we'll do what we got to do to prepare and be ready to play, and play on a level, fair, competitive playing field. You ever wonder who might be sitting up on some of those hills and stuff? Well, I wonder about a lot of things. <laughs> some of the questions I get in here, I wonder about. <laughs> yeah. All right.
your, your offensive coordinator and your quarterback have both been very vocal in talking about how good Ben Roethlisberger looks, how good he feels. What is your assessment of where Ben I agree with him. I agree with him. It's been a good process for him. He came ready, and coming ready has a lot to do with it in terms of conditioning and mind, body, and spirit. It's been good, but uh, the proof is in the pudding. And he's about to step into a stadium this weekend, so uh, stay tuned.